So when I heard the news about Tom Brady stepping away for a couple of weeks and Todd Bowles announced and said it's a, a personal, you know, family matter that he's not going to get into, but that he and Brady talked about this before camp started and this was always kind of the plan, Bobby, my immediate reaction is I just don't worry about Tom Brady because with Tom Brady everything always turns out okay in terms of the football part of it. So I, I didn't really overreact to the situation. We had Dan Dockich on yesterday. He did give me a different perspective. He said my top question would be, how into this is Tom Brady? Like this is no, in no way a good thing for Tampa Bay that the guy retired, then he decided to come back, and now he's planning two weeks off before it starts. And I'm not saying he's taking off. I don't know what he's doing, but basically that this can't be spun into something that is good news for Tampa when you look at it. What are your thoughts when you hear this story about Tom Brady and whatever's going on that we don't know what it is right now? So here's the good news for Tampa Bay is that Tom Brady is their quarterback and it's not Kyle Trask or Blaine Gabbert. Of course. So that's, that's what we're going to start with. The fact that he came back, that's a great thing. Now, you know, having played with Tom briefly, I can't imagine a scenario where Tom would try to come in and mail it in for a season. I think he came back. He probably realizes this is probably this is going to be it. Todd Bowles is the coach. Todd Bowles, a former player, he's got a great relationship. There's not much more about the game of football that Tom Brady can learn, and he's got a relationship with all of their receivers. He understands everything that you need to do to be able to win. He knows how to get his body right. And the reality is too, when you're 45 years old, they're going to have him on pitch counts during camp. He's on pitch counts during the season in practice, just to make sure that he can get through the long, arduous and grueling season that is the NFL. And so if they talked about this beforehand. I've, I've heard a lot of people around the country. Like, oh, I mean, it was like you said, is he into it? This is concerning. Are there other players in the locker room that are wondering why is he getting this treatment? Listen, everybody knows why this is happening. Now, hopefully it's nothing serious with his family. And this is something that they just planned and said, hey, you know what, Todd? I'm not going to play in the preseason. I'm going to take 10 days off. I'm going to be back. You know I'll be ready. We'll be good. All right, Tom, thanks for coming back and making my first year in my second tenure as a head coach much more successful because you'd much rather have Tom Brady than the alternative. And Todd Bowles had to deal with that up with the Jets. So he gets it. He understands it. Tom's going to be ready to go. The vets in the locker room are happy. They, would, they wouldn't care if Tom came to practice once a week as long as he showed up on Sunday and was able to be Tom Brady, the guy that we know. And I'm telling you this, I don't think Tom Brady would be playing right now if he didn't think he could be the Tom Brady that he has always been. He would have hung it up. He's not coming out here just to mail it in. He's coming out here to try to win a Super Bowl and to be able to have success. And so with all of those things, He's earned the right, more so than anybody else in league history. The guy has won seven Super Bowls. He's been to 10. He's been remarkable. He's done everything you've asked. He's 45 years old, and he came back for one more season. Now, I know there's the hubbub about Sean Payton and him to the Dolphins and ownership and all that different stuff. But the reality is now, the guys look at this. You have Tom Brady. When you have 12, you have a chance. He always keeps you in the game. He will be ready to go. He will be more prepared than anybody else you're going to play. And I think that they can rest easy knowing that. And the reality is, too, I don't think Todd Bowles particularly minds the fact that, hey, we can get Gabbard and Trask, especially Trask, and see what we have with this guy. We drafted him. We got Tom Brady. He got to sit a little bit. You know, he was good at Florida. Let's see if he can kind of lead a little bit. Tom's not even here, so this is going to kind of be his team. Let's see if he can take the reins and show some leadership going into a year where we might not have Tom, if he could ultimately prove to us that he is going to be the guy. So a lot of people look at this as a negative for Tampa, like, oh, Tom's not into it. He's cashing the chips. No, I, I, I know too much about Tom Brady to know that he would ever have any of that in his soul. And I think that honestly, Todd Bowles probably wasn't upset with it. Rest your arm. We'll take a look at the young guys. You come back every year ready to go. You're 45. You've been doing this longer than most guys have been coaching in the league. You'll be good.